Hi, my name is Joseph Ally. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about the four part process of creation that um, is fueling all of manifestation in this manifested world. So the idea is that this world itself is the manifested world. This is the after effect world. This is the side effect world. Now we, before we understood, we were just reactive and we were embedded and submerged and saturated in this world. There was nothing else but this world. But when it comes to manifestation, what we finally realize is that if we remove ourselves from this world temporarily and go out of this world in a different, um, a different imaginal dimension, then we can in fact rearrange our mind and rearrange the world. So if you haven't done so already, like this because it does something with the algorithm which will show this video to people who may not otherwise be able to see this video. Also subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified for upcoming content on the laser targeted systematic way to deliberately manifest whatever you want, the unadulterated pure form of manifestation. And then I also have, I don't know if you know this yet, but my Instagram, check it out. It's in the description below. So let's just hop right into this. So the, the process of creation can be split into a four part process. Now, the, these four parts are referenced over and over in scripture and they're also rep, uh, referenced in the name of the, um, the one who is called God or Jehovah in scripture and it's the way that we manifest today. So if you haven't seen my videos before, I've mentioned this many times and so does Neville Goddard when we talk about the term I am. So the term I am is the how uh, the name Jehovah or what we call God is used in, um, in Exodus. So he says that his name is I am. So but inside that name, there is a, a formula. There's a formula behind it in the Hebrew writing, in the tetragrammation of the word. And those four different symbols, those four characters combined make the totality of creation. And whether or not we know that we're doing this, this is how our very lives have always been shaped. This is how manifestation has been unfolding. But it's been revealed to us through scripture and through actually testing this and putting this to the test that if we can go in and reverse engineer this system, then we can go in and create our reality. So I got a testimony from someone the other day. They, um, their friend, they live um, in the UAE and they had a friend who was trying to leave their job, but if they, uh, they, they had a visa by that job, they found a new job, but they needed to cancel, quit and cancel that visa, and then just to get the other one in the next place. So upon, when the person tried to quit the job, this company was playing really dirty and was basically saying that um, the person had quit sneakily and so that they would, so in some way tried to put a mark against the visa so they wouldn't be able to get another one, which is absolutely terrible. It's a horrible thing to do. Nevertheless, that was the route that they were taking. So this person who sent in the testimony, they immediately felt the desire to help their friend out. So, and this brings into the first part of the creation as for in the name of God or Jehovah and yad heh vav -Hey, right? So there's multiple ways that this is described, but the first way is it's likened to a movie production, right? So just to be clear, it's the producer, it's the author, it's the director, and it's the actor. So Yad, Hey, Vav, Hey. Producer, author, director, actor. That's one way to personify it into this world. So this first aspect would be considered as the producer, the idea, the feeling, the desire. So the technical literal um, definition for this is a hand or a hammer, but it essentially means awareness. So awareness produces this desire, right? Now we hear this a lot of times with Neville Goddard and that when we have a desire, it comes from God. It comes from our true self, the I am, which is the same I am that has created this entire existence here. So when the desire comes up, that is the first symbol. That's the yod. That's the producer saying, make this movie, make this movie. So when we get that, then what's the next step? So the desire came over this individual and um, the, the action was, um, they decided to take the action to manifest a different outcome. So what they did was they ended up revising different um, different the, the conversations that the the two of them had about the negativity of this work, um, a, a plan was set into motion, 
And so the plan was in, a, in scripting to outline a scene which would imply that everything was all good, which was in this case that the person had found their new job and the person had their visa moved over and that this absconding remark on the visa would be removed completely and that they would release, that old company would release the employee without, because they wanted to keep them there because of the, the price that it took to, um, to have a visa put in place, right? So nevertheless, the idea was that this person was trying to quit, the company would not let them quit and, and because they quit, they were putting a mark. They want to put a mark against their visa. So the desire came in, no, I don't want this to happen. The plan then came, revised the, the conversations between me and my friend, right? I'm taking the place as the person who wrote this testimony in, revised the situation between me and my friend, and then um, all the conversations, then outline a plan which would imply that I already have heard the good news from my friend. And then the next step, and so that in and of itself is the author, right? So the author is mapping out or constructing an actual plan. Now the producer has the idea, but that is almost, it's virtually worthless unless we bring it down the funnel. We put it into the funnel of creation. So it goes, the producer's idea, this is the movie. Then it goes, the author plans it out. How am I going to do this? And so that's in the, okay, I'm gonna revise. Okay, I'm going to imagine at night, say it akin to sleep, I'm gonna script. And then the third step is to actually cultivate or create this, these different materials. So outlining them or uh, thoroughly planning them out, right? Because the next step is the director is going to um, direct this film in the imagination. So what it takes from that point is the director says, hey, actor, you're going to act this out. And that is the fourth phase. So what happens is they take this and then they imagine this. So it's imagined, imagine, imagines. The actor is rehearsing over and over and over until it becomes masterful and natural, right? So it's really a profound, um, it's a pr profound metaphor. And this is in Neville's book called Seed Time and Harvest. It's in the beginning. Now he has alternate ways of explaining the process of creation through yad he vav he. One of them is aware, being aware, I'm sorry, awareness, being aware, being aware of something, and then manifestation into physical reality. In this aspect, he puts it into the metaphorical sense. There's the producer, that's your desire. You come up with the idea, okay, I want this. Now the author creates the process from which it unfolds. That's the end scene. So what's the end scene? The end scene is that my friend tells me that everything was all good, no absconding remarks on the visa, got the new job, and they gave me a different visa. The third step is the director saying, okay, now I'm gonna hold this actor accountable. This actor is going to practice and rehearse and act out accordingly. And then the actor in the imagination, that is the Christ of scripture. That is the savior. That is who in the imagination brings forth the scene, the end result in the state akin to sleep, which has been planned out in a previous process and then imagine it over and over and over at night and then script during the day, rehearse it, script, and then, um, and then uh, let it play over and over and over and over until it saturates the mind, until it's natural, right? That's a key aspect of manifesting. You really have to think about this as an actor. But here's the thing, we're not acting out in this physical reality. That's not where we are rehearsing this. Because you see, the imagination is the operant power. The imagination is the operant power of God. It is the thing which impresses upon the subconscious, it's accepted after that by awareness and then refracted out on this world. And since we're all one and all of us has the, have the same subconscious, the same awareness, we're all in awareness, made up of awareness, then we have the same faculties which created all of this. And that's why we are capable of being the producer, author, director, and actor. And so upon doing this, upon doing this for a few days, suddenly things begin to change. The old employee finally agreed to release the, I'm sorry, the old employer finally re agreed to release the employee. And what ended up happening was they did not put any absconding remarks because it was what they were doing was rejected by, um, by whoever establishes or takes care of the visas, their absconding remark, they were like, no, this is not right. Now this happened after imagining, this happened after imagining. And in the end, the new job hired this person 
and gave them a new visa and everything was perfect. So this is a life changing thing. This could have destroyed this person's visa or ability to live and work in this country. But nevertheless, when this person submitted their testimony to me before, they just had this desire, no, I am going to, as they said, nevelize this. I'm going to nevelize this. I'm going to use the process of creation. I'm going to be the director, actor, author, and producer. I probably already said that in the wrong order. Producer, director, actor, and author. <laughs> and that's it. Boom. It's done. So the four steps, right? That's... That is all there is to what's going on in this world. And then it will manifest in its own given time, its own profound timing. And we never have to worry about how it's going to happen. When we map out these end results, we take into consideration only the end. We take into consideration first person point of view because we're replicating it on the screen of space. We take into consideration what it would feel like, what it would be like, what would I be saying, what would I be journaling from the future? These different aspects, we apply them, we take the action internally, we shut off the senses, we apply this internally, we play the play in our mind over and over until it takes on the tones of reality, and then we release it. And then every single time, no question, if you successfully impress your subconscious mind, if you successfully embed a a, 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 a profoundly accurate end result onto your imagination, then it will come every single time. So use these four steps. Think of it. It's a desire. It comes from awareness. That's the producer. The producer is the awareness. It's God. It's the desire coming into you. Then you've got the, um, the author. That's you. That's what you have to do with your conscious mind. You have to figure out what is the end result here. Contemplate different scenes, which would imply that you already have what you want. What do you want? Do you want money? Do you want a girlfriend? Do you want a boyfriend? Do you want to get married? Do you want health? Do you want to look better? Do you want to feel better? Do you want to be emotionally secure? Do you want to remove obsessive thoughts? You'll get that feeling. Then you figure out a plan because now you're the author and then you funnel it down into the next, um, into the next, into the director. You hand it off to the director. The director makes sure you relax yourself. You hold yourself into place, holding you accountable now. And then the actor takes this scene, this play and imagines it, imagines it, imagines it until it is a natural thing. And then the actor will be, uh, and the whole world itself, the setting will be set. It will come in a natural way. The actor will move. All the other people in this play will be moved in order to get you what you want. So take those actions. Watch how easy it, easy that this is. So uh, like this video, thumbs up. It does something to the algorithm. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Check out that Instagram and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.